Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to be in this moment here and to give you that uh, survey, which will be quite, uh, I will try to do my best to be very rapid and overfly. Usually I try to overfly, I'm, I'm a flyer in principle. So I like to, to fly uh, over some aspects. Uh, uh, saying that, uh, uh, why I'm pleased? I'm pleased because uh, if we uh, remember, uh, I would say historically, uh, we were at the very beginning of, uh, uh, mm, uh, let's say, um, the start of, of plastics before the plastics. So we discussed various options uh, at the, that time at the ICS Unido, and we found that there would be a good uh, way. And then obviously, Andre and other friends took uh, very actively this issue and then um, they set up that, that program. So that's why uh, I am very pleased now to be, let's say, in the final stage of this, uh, of this uh, initiative. And I will speak uh, very briefly on two aspects. One is uh, national creation of uh, the, those uh, national information slash focal points and global network of sustainable plastic and which is then related what we can do in the, uh, in the future. And uh, I will uh, speak a little bit on uh, some possibilities of new project proposals within, uh, within that initiative. Uh, as it was said several times and repeated here, and Andre stressed very much also this, uh, uh, Dr. Kajan, that uh, one of the uh, uh, outputs and initiative of uh, PLASIS uh, was um, uh, setting up of these national information po uh, points and those in information points um, especially uh, look uh, for the uh, dissemination uh, of the results uh, as much as possible with those countries we uh, were participating. So I mean uh, on the countries like uh, um, partner countries Slovenia, Italy, Poland, and Slovakia. Uh, however, then uh, we understood that it would be very nice to spread out because uh, many of the documents and the results were uh, valid and uh, useful for many other players worldwide. That's why uh, there was a decision that we sh shall go ahead with the creation of national information point, uh, which are let's say, out of the uh, partner countries, and uh, that's why we uh, started with that. Not only that, but then uh, it was uh, agreed that it would be very nice that this initiative to creating all those national uh, information points or focal points is not something as an exercise which will die after the plastics will finish, but will create a sort of basis a platform which should be useful for further promotion of this concept internationally and globally. And that, that, this is the, the, the story. And that's why we uh, continue out on uh, uh, those uh, aspects of dissemination of other countries. And we, uh, in fact, uh, distinguish between what we call N NIP, which is National Information Points, and NFP, which is National Focal Point. National Focal Point should be a sort of reference institution in the country, uh, taking the responsibility to spread off uh, all those, those information and creating, uh, let's say, sub-network on the level of, of, the, uh, of each country. And that's why uh, this, is the, uh, this is a process, obviously. And I am very pleased to say that we are in this process we uh, follow. So uh, it was mentioned several times that our original plan at the beginning was that we are going to have four partner countries plus one. Then we said, OK, probably we, are, we can manage to have more countries in the network. And I am very pleased that today uh, we have 17 member countries and you have uh, the list of those uh, national information po uh, points like uh, this four, as you can see here, uh, Italy, Poland, Slovenia, Slovakia, but then uh, step by step, several other countries joined that uh, network, Romania, Hungary, Serbia, but also uh, countries like Indonesia, Turkey, UK, and uh, uh, also, let's say, 
last three months, USA, India, China, Brazil, Croatia, and very, very recently, Czech Republic and Ukraine. So I am very pleased to say some of those uh, who represent uh, those uh, focal points are here. And uh, I'm also very pleased to say that um, uh, probably tomorrow this will be again corrected, the number, because it will be not anymore 17, but will be probably 19 or 20, because I agreed, uh, we agreed uh, before with uh, our colleagues from Egypt that should be finalized the same, Austria and probably some other countries. Uh, I would like just to, you know, just to refresh our, our uh, presentation to, to, oh sorry, to show you how it looks like now uh, at the website which is under gestion of our dear friends from Aster and they, they did also very nice work. I appreciate very much work of, of them. I appreciate very much work of Petra. I mentioned yesterday during our steering committee that, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, uh, Andre, you are, uh, you are becoming younger and younger because you are working with young people. And this is a key issue. Why we are very looking forward to cooperate with, uh, with this, this project. What is nice on that, that if you, if you click for on, on uh, one flag, you see uh, for all those speaking, um, speaking Portuguese, well, Portuguese is a, is a language in Brazil, you have all the, 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 let's say, the introduction, but in some cases all the documents which are available. So I was very pleased to see that for example, in the case of Brazil, all documents that you produce, or let's say the key documents produced, are now available. And this is, you know, it's not only like a, like a show performance, but it's something very useful for those countries, because it was uh, mentioned several times here that uh, one of the obstacles of the penetration and dissemination of results, especially for companies, is a language problem. So now uh, these aspects are, are there. Then, uh, obviously, if you if you go you go back and you click like uh, blah, 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 Chinese, then you have a Chinese. I am not sure uh, whether it's so correct or not, but uh, we are in the hands of Professor Cheng from uh, Tsinghua University in uh, in uh, Beijing. Okay, let me just turn back to my presentation. So, uh, uh, Professor Kenavi, you know, it would be very nice to see the Arabic uh, yes. the, the language. <laughs> but again, this is yeah, not only, the, yeah, it's not only only show, but it's a real uh, yes, utility of that because uh, probably you because will say... Our area needs reality. This is what okay. I'm going to say in the, the lecture. It's, Excellent. It's and uh, you will confirm that Arabic, for example, the more than 200 million speak speaking Arabic, yeah. so this is the, your, your importance is there, so yeah. you, you be, uh, take it as a, as a challenge. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, okay, so this is one story. And now to continue, I will say, okay, it would be nice to continue on, on, on in this line, and uh, we have uh, uh, obviously uh, that plan that within the, Net, uh, uh, network of uh, sustainable plastic is not only a question, you know, to make a nice website, but also to go ahead with the information dissemination. And this should be done on two levels. One is uh, to penetrate into many other uh, places or uh, possible uh, institution companies on, on national level, so in each country, and this is a sort of permanent work should be performed in each of countries being a member of that. Uh, uh, this would be very useful for them to give uh, uh, that information and all the uh, products or majority of those, um, let's say, called products or of, uh, of this plastics program to, be, uh, to make them available for many other countries. Then obviously uh, uh, how to go ahead. Uh, there is very important to search for other schemes and programs and we are doing that uh, as uh, links to technology projects, to cluster programs 
and obviously search for international funds for that. Uh, we also discussed with Andre, with, and I open this very frankly with all of you, that the option is that for the future would be probably of uh, some logics that this will be, uh, let's say, promoted by the international uh, type of organization. We are International Center for Applied Research and, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, Sustainable Technology based in Bratislava. There's a type of girl, doesn't matter. And uh, uh, this activity should also go for the further dissemination, building knowledge, workshop uh, programs, for, but also for research, technology uh, innovation, especially with the uh, links to uh, producers. It was a very nice presentation of one of our colleagues, uh, our colleague from ministry, showing that in uh, Europe we are well behind with the, with, uh, with the importance of uh, transfer to uh, in the industrial or, let's say, part of, uh, of realization of those uh, programs. So just uh, for a few of you do, who are not uh, aware about what is uh, IC, uh, Internet Center for Applied Research was uh, just very, very one, one slide showing that this is a relatively new umbrella initiative, but it's a sort of follower of uh, former ICES unit of program which uh, uh, died in, at the end of uh, 2012 because of uh, 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 budget cuts and so on. So, on. so we established a new center, very small one starting from then and we are now working on the uh, opening of satellite offices also in uh, Italy and Trieste. And these are possible, uh, <coughs> let's say, channels how to go for the uh, searching of new uh, possibilities through uh, research technology transfer projects to EC, but also to developing uh, countries, especially to make from that uh, our uh, program here and program of, of the future a sort of gate of, to Europe or vice versa. Uh, we are very much involved in the promotion of uh, some uh, agreements and cooperation between the CEI, which is the Central European Initiative, by the by, yes, chances uh, also have course in Trieste, but also UMDP program and several others. Also, it's important to search for, uh, especially for Horizon, but for also for several other um, funding schemes, uh, not uh, 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 neglected. Also, there is a, a option to go for and to search for the programs which are, let's say, national or bilateral for several of the countries. Okay, this is something what I already mentioned, and uh, these uh, are also uh, um, <coughs> some inspiration for us to, to discuss and to search what are those uh, issues and topics to be considered for the uh, for the future with the relation of the uh, accumulated knowledge and experience to uh, pass this project. So this is uh, just, you know, very preliminary uh, uh, list of consideration, but <coughs> we still believe that it uh, should be quite important to have various uh, waste management scenarios. It was also discussed here, you know, we are not very sure still what is the uh, best option for waste management whether waste management is a closed cycle or not, because if you are producing something which will not uh, have uh, the end uh, point of, of management, then uh, we are losing a lot what we, we are investing. So these are issues that should be taken into, into account. Uh, definitely, we uh, need that uh, uh, transversal <coughs> approach from research to development of production up to industrial public <coughs> perception. But uh, it was mentioned several times here by uh, our colleague from Novamont yesterday, but it was a uh, uh, steering committee, so some of you didn't uh, participate, that many companies are taking into account consideration, and it was also mentioned by several other our colleagues, Lucia and uh, some other, that we are on not only um, sticking on the plastic, but we uh, link. We are trying to link it to broader consideration bio-based chemicals or biorefineries, and uh, also up to green economy or bioeconomy. 
Uh, there is another field which is quite interesting and important for many other of, uh, of experts uh, sitting also here. Or we have, there are all those aspects which are linked to uh, what we call intelligent materials for food packaging, bio nanomaterials, and uh, some biomedical applications. Uh, very briefly, just a message what uh, we have been doing for searching of, of uh, possible calls, either uh, especially on Horizon 2020 or some other scheme. So this was something we discussed also in, uh, in April when we met last time. I, rem I think that was uh, April, no? the last, uh, last uh, workshop. And on that uh, we agree, for example, uh, four calls uh, were identified from those we said, okay, this is something which uh, would be of, of uh, quite high priority or the public procurement for various reasons will not, uh, were not, this part was not finished by a sort of mini consortium here, but fortunately there is some follow-up from Aster uh, and this is also uh, good, good news. Uh, mm, there is another call which uh, has been closed and we were not able to submit and I will just mention why, but we are very much looking forward for the same call in 2015. Let me stress one thing. Uh, it is not possible, it's uh, very logical that uh, it is not possible that each call which will be there, so all the members of Plastis uh, Consortium will uh, participate. But this is something which is logical that some of uh, which is more, for more uh, let's say, uh, uh, advisable or it's, um, uh, let's say, corresponding to some specialization could be uh, then uh, structured up according to those, uh, uh, let's say, type of, of participant or company. Vice versa is not only uh, close for Plastis uh, consortium meeting, but for many other uh, players who could, uh, who could be linked to that. Uh, one just uh, story which uh, finished uh, with this call for this was global call and uh, we uh, didn't succeed to submit uh, uh, it uh, simply there is one uh, was very nice that we agreed and the consortium was very strong of those countries the problem uh, the problem was especially in this case particular case that if you look uh, then for the rules of uh, Horizon 2020, you will find some surprising uh, issues that uh, for such a collaboration, there are some eligible countries that from those that I listed, uh, it was very nice to see that Egypt is eligible, yes. that Indonesia is eligible. But uh, I would say strangely uh, enough, not eligible are USA, India and China. So they could participate, but they should uh, co-fund, uh, co-finance the activity. For time being, they were not able to put enough money for such participation, but as I wrote here, uh, there is still uh, their effort to find something uh, to be, let's say, strong and to present, because on the other side, once they are able to co-finance, this is also a good, strong argument for Horizon 2020. This is another one, and uh, as I said, the, we are now focusing on uh, 2015. Uh, well, the budget there, total budget is uh, bigger, and uh, just to remind you that uh, uh, yeah. um, this is all sort of integrating activity. We discussed how many par par participants would like to participate. It was very clear that uh, the issue is that um, this focus on some centers of excellence, and, uh, but this is divided into so-called starting communities and advanced communities. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we are ready with a concept to be, to be brought to the uh, call 2015. What is important, this is uh, limited, especially what is uh, written in the call that are functional materials for special applications, and this is uh, something what we are considering as a possible uh, possible uh, two fields of, of such a program which should be uh, quite larger but we have then to pick up some 
special application either in biodegradable compostable plastics or with this targeted uh, application in medicine. We have about uh, uh, ten, uh, no, eight months time to to go ahead with this preparation. Uh, what is crucial is to find a very valid coordinator and uh, not only very valid of the top quality but also very uh, willing to, to take a role of coordinator because to be a coordinator of such programs is a tough task. Nevertheless, uh, uh, this is very preliminary inf uh, indication we already partially agree with Fraunhofer Institute, not about the coordinator, but about the participation very clearly uh, from France, but also from, uh, let's say, synchrotron sources. Uh, and there are those partners, are those which are part of uh, the, this global framework. Obviously, uh, this is not a closed list. We are still uh, discussing how to finalize both and especially who could be coordinated. By the way, uh, in this particle call, you know, the, uh, there should be such a large, uh, large infrastructure presented as a, as a reference. And I was just uh, thinking I need then to discuss with my friends from uh, Italy. You are a member of this e ENS10. Yes, because there are f more than 40 universities and the headquarters is in Florence. So I don't know whether this is an advantage or disadvantage, but we, we have... We, yeah? Okay, okay. So this is something what we have then to, to explore together. Uh, just to mention you, uh, within the next two or three minutes, there are some other, other calls I would like to uh, mention. Um, there is a, a relatively new program, new from the July, but the, the deadline will be next year, and it's called Twin Program and it's spreading excellence and widening participation. Again, this is something which uh, could be valid because in this case we, do, don't need, we don't need to have a very large, uh, very large consortium, but should be very, very well prepared and uh, still considering that uh, part of the, of the challenge. Scope is uh, just, I uh, copy and paste from the, from the call. Uh, so this is another one and uh, another one what I would like to again call your our, mm, let's say, um, a mutual discussion on that. You know very well that there is also uh, in Horizon 2020 program dedicated to uh, doctoral studies or PhD studies. So now it's a <clears throat> question. It's a huge program, but obviously there, there, there are very, very many uh, applicants. But uh, I'm not sure how many are from our uh, sector of the plastics, uh, bio-based um, <coughs> uh, chemicals. And this is something which uh, I have had experience now, fortunately successful experience in, the, in the, uh, obtaining the funding for another topics is for biosensors, but still is something which, which uh, could work and it's very useful because you are uh, promoting uh, young people promoting uh, to be to create a sort of uh, joint doctorate and this is for the future especially I believe for countries like here uh, in uh, uh, let's say Slovenia, Slovakia, uh, Poland just, uh, just to create for the future uh, recognized basis for PhD program which will be Europe uh, on the European level and this is something what I invite you to communicate then with us whether you would be interested with uh, whether the, what kind of uh, uh, idea. Obviously, time is running. The next call is the next deadline is uh, 13 of, of uh, January. Nevertheless, fortunately, this is every year two times two two calls. So uh, it's uh, I think uh, a good opportunity to think about that. Uh, well, uh, I also put uh, what are usually because there are two types. This is for, uh, let's say, general partnership. This is so-called European Industrial Doctorate. And this is something which is specific, but is very difficult to, to, to success, to have success. In fact, we succeeded with that, so I'm very pleased to say that. Uh, okay, um, well, and there are several other, uh, other oh, opportunities. I don't want to uh, create by my presentation a sort of illusion, you know, like uh, 
you know, performance of uh, uh, rock star. That what what is there are many possibilities. There are many possibilities. There is, uh, as you know, there is a lot of uh, competence, co uh, competition, a lot of uh, lobbying, a lot of whatever. So, but we have to use our uh, basis created here as much as possible. So this is a story regarding uh, some other calls. Now, for example, we are. Uh, I spoke also to our dear friend, colleague from uh, Egypt, just to explore uh, all those possibilities which are for Mediterranean countries. Regarding the original, we are now in a phase of preparation of uh, uh, what we call expression of interest between two regions, between the uh, European Union and Gulf countries. This is something which could be of interest. Obviously, this is only in the first free phase uh, once this is approved, there will be a, another opportunity to go for that uh, and to apply. This is something what is related to this big region between the European Union and Gulf states. As you know, Gulf states are those uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, Qatar, uh, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and, and, and so on. Uh, uh, we don't forget also other initiatives which are more uh, supporting than, uh, than real funding organization, especially the, I would like only mention two. Uh, EC Danube uh, strategy, sometimes um, I'm a bit confused what is the, yes, I'm going to finish in uh, one minute and 30 seconds. And uh, C CEI is Central Europe and I already mentioned again, this is something which now tomorrow will be ministerial conference in Trieste uh, on this uh, uh, issue of biofuels, bioscientific of, of Ministry of Science or Ministers of Science or, and that. So, uh, even it will be less than one minute and 30 seconds, I would like to thank you for your kind attention. With, uh, unfortunately, in Trnava there is no water very close to the main square, so next time I will make some tricky photos. Thank you very much for your uh, attention.